Good morning, folks. This this is the Metal and Wood Channel. You're 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 listening to Steve. We've got the great 381 chainsaw story of 2023 unfolding right here, right now. Now let's take a count. Let's take a count of how many 381 chainsaws have black covers. Okay, because I am very delighted. I've racked my brain and racked my brain trying to make sure I could count every 381 that's ever come into the United States from Noker. Every single one. There was 10 of them. They all came to me in an original shipment with leaky gas tanks. Every single one of these five saws currently has a leaking gas tank. Every single saw out there in the rest of the country has a leaking gas tank. There's two Noker saws in Indiana. They got a leaking gas tank. Minor, but leaking. And it's possible maybe one leaks more than the other, what have you. But I thought there was just four that I, that I had in my possession. And then I looked in my stack of boxes and kept looking and kept looking. And lo and behold, I have found every single noker that has come into the United States. I know where every single one is. I also got another secret. Another secret surprise for you. Okay. See this orange noker right here? That orange noker right here? Look here. See how it's orange noker right here? Look at that orange noker well noker does make the best starter assays but they don't generally ship out orange i put that on there that that starter assay and that cover that's that's the where the cover came from right there came from that saw right there i wasn't selling these saws so i was able to cannibalize them and i was slowly but surely cannibalizing them and switching the carburetors and making sure everything's running or not running problems were the fuel tank and the carburetors so what i'm going to do in the next few days is I'm going to start with my original Ogenus. A police officer bought this from me here in town in Baton Rouge. He couldn't get it started, even though I had it started. And I'm like, man, you got to be real, man. You got to pull that thing. And I don't think he thought I was joking. And he never brought me the saw until I begged him and begged him and begged him. He says it's been sitting two years or more. So one of the subscribers I talked to, they want to send me back one of the saws that they won uh, because their hand doesn't fit right here perfectly. I guess I need to film that right here perfectly. There you go. And I said, hey, you want this uh, You want this ugliest sin, 72? And they said, man, I would love three, three, 370, uh, 381, 72 cc's. Man, I would love that ugliest sin chainsaw. I said, okay, well, let me get it running and started. So here's the game plan, folks. I've admitted I've never pulled out a cylinder. No big deal. I got the tool now. Now I got a real need to do that. Now we got five. Look at there. We got five to review. Okay? And... I'm going to start with that one, but that's not a noker. Even though it looks like a noker. Even though it looks like a noker, there's one way to tell whether it's a noker or not. And I'm about to show you which way. I'm about to show you which way to make it an authentic noker. Let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. So what's going on is uh, I'm going to start with this one and get this one running. This Ogenus. When this genus is running, I don't need to look at the cylinder. The cylinder is fine. Some of the parts right here, like the, the ignition coil, may not work. So when this genus right here gets sent off, gets out of my hair, and is no longer a problem, I sent it with some parts kit pieces, like this starter assay. That's a replaced starter assay, by the way, I'm pretty sure, because Ogenus, no, no, correction. No, no, that's, that, that went out of my hands a long time ago. Never mind. I never had it back. That's not a replaced starter assay. That's a replaced starter assay right there, and of course... So they're not perfect, but 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 Nokers are the best starter assays I've seen. Ogenuses are the worst. Nokers are the best starter assays I've seen, but the pull rope came out on the knot on that one, obviously. So this one was being used on a professional level for my evaluation. And the deal was with my buddy who runs a tree service in, in two different states. My deal with him was, hey, look, I got this whole big old pile. I got this big old pile of 381s that I want tested. And I wanna, I wanna mess with and work with anyone that doesn't meet your needs. And I wanna just keep exchanging it. So you give me enough money for a Happy Meal, some chump change. You give me enough money for some chump change and I'll keep things running for you. And I'll see what goes on. And we're gonna test these before we put them out on the market. Because I've been burned on those and my nokers were leaking in the carburetors and they didn't fix anything till this year, till June, 2023. So then I give him these saws. Now he's running a bunch of 381s. He was also running this 381 right here. And then I said, hey, you still got some 381s? I need some to borrow back some 381s. I got a stump I need to cut up. So it's on video. You see my black 660. That's that's my black 660 that, that Jerry Simmons ripped me off of. Still owes me $100 on, by the way. So this, uh, this 381 
this is this is the project plan everybody's asking me when i'm going to open up these cylinders you know i need to film them for for court and you all think some of you think that that's a joke but i've got ripped off saws out there and i've got fraudulent fraudulent reviews and i i've i've read probably i've read probably it feels like 2000 messages but it might be only 200 messages calling me a con man a dirty dirty con man a cheat uh, bless his heart basically messages that say he probably didn't know they were the, the the manufacturers were probably ripping him off It's probably not his fault. He had good intentions Okay, so I've read I've read those for, you know, of course It doesn't matter because it's internet it doesn't matter to anybody else, but guess who it matters to yours truly So I'm gonna get that thing running When that thing's running good it goes out with parts kits. I think the guy is gonna be happy with it even though it's ugly as sin I might have some orange covers that I might find between now and then. I might. They're not that expensive. I could always take them from there, couldn't I? You know? I could always take them from here. I'll probably do that for them because I'm a good American. And then after I do that blue one right there, this one, let me tell you the story on this one. This is not a noker. I ordered about three or four other factories and I just I left them all there and mixed them up. They, they come to you on Alibaba and they don't start. And they don't care. The factories that send them to you on Alibaba, they don't care. Once once it gets here, if you don't have what you need running right, good luck. You, you got nothing. No recourse. Okay? So, this was one of those Alibabas testing out factories, trying to figure out who's a factory and who's uh, uh, a trading company and who's got good stuff and who doesn't. So, I got a couple of these saws and there was a guy that runs a, a logging business, works out of an office. And... I called him and he says, yeah, I want to see those saws. Can you bring me some of those saws? So I took him up a pair of these saws right here. And he ran each one of them at full speed with no chain on them for about five minutes sitting there letting them scream. And I'm like, that can't not be good for that saw. I'm just thinking in my mind with, you know, with a limited amount of mechanical experience of run saws 20 years. But with a limited amount of mechanical experience, I'm thinking running that saw at full blast, full speed, probably not very good for it. And he did that with his other saw too. He had two of them. He wanted to test them out. And he was he was able to tune the carburetor and do a few different things, but he's running them at full speed for minutes and minutes and minutes. Like from cold to full speed. Well, guess what? He never needed any more saws or never wanted them. And this saw right here never has seemed to have power. So was it that running it for five minutes at full speed? So I borrowed that on the stump and he's right. He says his guys say that this one doesn't have as much power as all the other ones. So why is that? I don't know. Is it scored up and messed up? This is where I'm going to start. So I'm going to start with that one, that Ogenus. I'm going to get that thing running. I called my police officer guy. I said, uh, I, oh, I didn't call him. I sent him a text. I said, here's my plan. I said, you paid decent money for that saw, and I, I haven't satisfied you. I want to send that saw to my subscriber because he wants to trade out his noker. You know, when the co comes along and he gets all these terrible reviews, who wants a noker? You know, who wants a noker after that? All terrible reviews, so he wants to send back his noker. But I'm just kidding. I'm just being dishonest with you, so I'll square that away. He says his hand doesn't fit between the brake very well right there. That's cool. Says it says, says it, he likes it otherwise. So we'll see when that comes. At least I'll have my 5200. Uh, my only 5200 in the whole, this half of the world. So get that thing running. The police officer gave me permission in a text message to trade that off, and 40 days later, he's getting a 372. He's getting a 372 because he paid decent money for that three years ago, and, and he and I just never connected, even though I did beg him. So 372 for him, satisfied customer. So this one right here, this is basically is mine because I had the tree crew testing all these. So you'll see me. This will be my first cylinder I've ever pulled out in my life right here. And we're going to see. You guys can tell me if it's, if it's screwed up on the uh, power from the cylinder based on scoring and whatnot piston damage i don't know we'll look at it that'll be my first one ever right there and you saw a 381 the other day that's what i ordered for this one a 381 cylinder i, I did a video of it yesterday and comments came back that it kind of just looks more or less like a farmer tech nothing special it's not a gem it's not a big deal well they run for three years you know people don't have i mean easily three years professional duty grade three years i don't know that's that's what i mean when i say professional duty now look i'm gonna let you guys in on a secret folks and I may, well, I'm, I'm not ready for the secret yet. We're going to move over here to these Hanakawas. And I'm not trying to slam people. And I'm not trying to mess anybody up. But you know I'm kind of hot on the situation. And you know it's not going away. Because it's all over the flipping internet. It's the biggest, it's the hottest thing in the world. Maybe, hey, maybe some people will get some good views on their one video that they got. 
So this is a Hanakawa. Now a message came through. Uh, I think it was from Jimbo Shack and it went to another channel. It went to another YouTuber's channel. And uh, Jimbo Shack said, hey, can you review those Hanakawas? Do you, do you think they're any good? And the message came back, not in an exact quote, but it came back, they're okay, they're hit and miss. Let me tell you a secret about Hanakawas, folks. Guess who the only person in the entire United States who's imported a Hanakawa? Guess who that is? That's me. So if a question comes through to a YouTuber's comments that says, how's a Hanakawa? Can you, can you get one reviewed? And the answer is, they're okay. They're hit and miss. Can you trust that? And I said, and I have to correct my mistake. My mistake, and this is not drama. This is just, this is just getting to the bottom of what's going on here. This is, this is just getting to the bottom of what's going on. I said there wasn't one within a thousand miles of Indiana, and I need to correct that. There's one in Tennessee, and it's a 660. There's a man out of Washington State that had two 660s that came from me. There have been no other Hanakawas sent to the United States, and there's not going to be any more as well. And that's shut off this year. The last order from Hanakawa came in in June, and it's that's it. And and, and I think there's there's only four 381s that have come in, and that's two different styles, as you can see. Two different styles of 381s. This, is, this one's been used in the tree crew, and then it got used by me on the stump because I needed to borrow back some 381s. And this has plenty of power. This is fine. This has been running quite some time. And uh, trying to think what else to tell you. Okay, now we're going to let you on a secret. You've been waiting for a secret, right? It's going to blow your mind, folks. Let's look at this Ogenus. Ogenus has got a serial number right there. And it's got a certain style to how it's printed in. Let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this Hanakawa. Okay, if there was one there, it's covered up. Let's look at the brand new Hanakawa. Okay, Hanakawa's got no serial number there. Could there possibly be a serial number under there? No, that's not. That's not paint. It's it's clear metal. It's all the way down to the metal right there. So there's no serial number on the Hanakawa right there. Let's look at this no name. No name, unknown, unknown saw from from God knows where. I don't know. Is there any numbers under there? There is some numbers in there somewhere. Okay, so that that has a serial number too. Do you understand what I'm getting at? And the story about my bicycles when I when I found that bicycle in the creek when I was about seven or eight years old that they stole from me, it had the serial numbers on it. I got good news for you. I know you all were doubting me. I know you guys doubted me. And I know you guys are thinking when when the guy says, no, I got them from somebody with a different name. It's none of your business where my sauce came from. You know, I bought them with my own money. It's none of your business. I got them from somebody with a whole different name. Well, that guy who I named already is known by other names as well. And, and I guess it doesn't much matter who you bought them from. They weren't allowed to be sold. They weren't they weren't something that was worked out on on being able to be sent anywhere they're my saws the the agreement was they were both going to get ported and i'm out four saws for changing one bolt and one clutch drum that was my own part i'm out four saws all right and i got a written agreement on them and you know what i'm getting at right i'm getting at that serial number so i found my fifth noker and i got three more in texas five six seven eight and i got two sitting in indiana and guess what that film that film of the review guess what you could see it took me hours and hours and hours to find it but i've got the screenshots from that video of the cylinders i'm sorry not the cylinders serial numbers so anyway folks there's stolen goods in in that review in indiana those are my saws and they've been tampered with the clutch, I mean the uh, clutch, it's a C word I'm thinking about. The carburetor rubber, that was me. That was my own hands. There's my DNA on that carburetor rubber. That was me ripping that thing up. And you know what? You're going to see that carburetor's out. These carburetors, all four, that rubber will be perfectly clean. Unless I've changed it with one of my carburetors. And you'll see my boxes of carburetors. And the two carburetors are different with white plastic versus black plastic. So you'll see what carburetor was in Indiana versus what carburetor is originally on them versus what carburetor it is that that's the spare parts that I've been changing. So anyway, 
I don't know what else to tell you. I, I appreciate your support. I'm sorry to give you this bad news, but there were only 10 that ever came here, so I knew there was something funny going on, some funny business some, somewhere. It just took me a while to figure it out. And uh, the only reason I'm mentioning it now is because the response was, was uh, I bought them from somebody with a different name. So that's the only reason I'm saying this right now. I was going to leave it all completely alone, but there's that, that raised too much doubt. I bought it from somebody else. It's my business where my saws came from. Well, you, you get rid of those saws, it's obstruction of justice. You got stolen goods, and I want them back, and it's going to get dealt with. Both aspects are going to be get dealt with. Stolen saws and fraudulent review. Both aspects are going to get dealt with, okay? So, like, subscribe, share, take care.